Japan. This fight, I'm pretty intrigued with this fight that's coming up right now. The Loc versus Boom Boom. <laughs> it, this one ought to be pretty fun. Yeah, I guess originally this was uh, supposed to be MMA, and uh, now it's morphed into kickboxing. Yeah, it, they started out, they were supposed to uh, be in an MMA fight, and then it got switched up uh, just on Wednesday to kickboxing. And here he is making his way to the ESC cage. Boom, boom. Bishop yeah. Price. And I don't think Boom Boom was super happy about this uh, turning into a kickboxing match. I mean, Wichita Jiu-Jitsu Club, obviously they're pretty comfortable on the ground. So uh, I think he might take a lot, take out a little bit of that aggression on Carter's face. Yeah, he wasn't too thrilled about this transitioning from MMA to kickboxing. But he said, let's do it. He said, hey, get me in front of this crowd and watch me work. He said it's going down tonight and he's about to be a problem for the low. Yeah, he said, basically, I'm coming at this dude like a bulldog. I'm, go I'm going straight in there, straight ahead to hurt him. Um, you know, despite the fact that he got switched from MMA to kickboxing, he knows he's got to get inside with uh, Carter's reach advantage on him. He's got to get inside, got to throw high volume, and just put the hurt on Carter as quick as he can. And here he comes, out of the red corner. We got to call him by his government name, or else we he would get in trouble by his mama, <laughs> Lorenzo. The Loke Carter making his way to the ring right now. Seen cornered by Evan Woolsley and Andy Zerger, Team JMTK. He said he's worked on his distance uh, encounters. Um, after his last fight here at the ESC, he knew there was quite a few things that he needed to touch up on, he needed to brush up on. Um, you know, he's at the gym a lot, he's working hard, so it's really going to, I think it's going to show pretty early how much improvement he's made over his last fight. He said, when this cage lock is going down tonight, he said, I'm not going to back down. He said, I'm going to always be moving. He said, I'm not slowing down. He's like, I'm going to be like a blur to boom boom here tonight at EFC. So he's looking to just overwhelm him with his speed and then put that low on him. Well, he's, he's definitely got to use his reach to his advantage. He's got to keep Bishop away from him as much as possible. Use that reach, set up the punches, drop the leg kicks. That's what kickboxing is really all about, is setting up those massive hammer leg kicks with punches. And if you can get them tied up, hey, switch it up the next time around, go ahead hunting a little bit. Lope said he's worked a lot on his distance and his counters for this fight. He said he knows his opponent has a hard hand but he got some for his opponent. Let's go up to the ring with Chris Gerhardt for the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for three rounds in the EFC featherweight division and is brought to you by Mel Hamilton Ford, Irvin Jackson, Hanson and Wright. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his amateur kickboxing debut. He stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Wichita Jiu-Jitsu Club by way of Wichita, Kansas. Please welcome, Boom Boom, Bishop Price. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter with an immature record of zero wins and one loss. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of JMTK by way of Wichita, Kansas. Please welcome Lorenzo the Loke Carter. Dan, both of these guys are definitely ready to get active here tonight. Referee Nick Barons is the third in the cage. Well, if, we were, if it was a jumping contest, that it would have been a draw right there. <laughs> they both look very bouncy. <laughs> look at the gaze from Bishop. Man. Yeah, you can see Boom Boom is ready to bang, bang. Round one underway. Bishop in the black with the white trim. The Loke with the blue and red. See both guys looking super light on their feet, but then Bishop comes right in with a flurry. Yeah, you can't pull the head down like that. Nick Barnes has to stop Lorenzo and let him know that he cannot clinch and pull the fighter into him. Yeah, this is not Muay Thai. This is uh, Glory Rules kickboxing. 
knees can, are allowed just not like that. Yeah, you can't grab the head and pull him down into the knee. And you can see Boom Boom opens up with a couple of big heavy shots. Doing exactly what he said he needs to do. Getting inside, throwing high volume. High volume, and he's... That's exactly what he needs to do. So also, it's not MMA, so we're not going to get the tie-up on the cage. You see a couple of big heavy shots, and you see big right up on top of us. And you can see Boom Boom is just a house of fire right now, Dan. Yeah, nice little trip at the end there. What do they say? Big things come in small packages? Yeah. Well, little Boom Boom got some dynamite coming out of them gloves right now, Dan. He is like a little raging bull just dr dropping some big blows on the corner. Landed a lot of power. You know, Zoe, I think, got surprised by how hard he actually got hit there. But you can tell he's remaining calm. The thing he's got to do is he's got to he's got to cut angles more. You can't just back straight up. You're going to run out of room. Yeah. You can definitely see Boom Boom is staying super aggressive right now. Below definitely knows he is in a fight. The below comes back with another couple of nice shots of his own. End of round one right there. Yeah. Boom Boom's treating it a little bit more like an MMA fight, you know, pushing him up against the cage, swinging when he's down. You know, I'm sure that wasn't intentional. It's just in the heat of the moment. But, you know, you got to watch that. You can He's getting a lecture from Nick Barron's right now. You can lose a lot of points very quickly or even get disqualified. Our beautiful ring girl Tiffany from Supplement World indicating the upcoming start of round two. Man, Boom Boom looks super strong, very <laughs> aggressive. Yeah, he, right there, man. he easily took that first round. And, he, and, and again, his his key is staying inside, throwing tons of volume, get uh, Carter to drop his hands, and then go up top. Just like we saw about three-quarters of the way through that round, Carter has got to use his reach, keep him out from the inside, um, and he's got to move more side to side, which you see Evan Woolsey telling him that exactly. you got to move. you got to move. You can't just back up straight. Bishop said he was looking to bring the excitement here, even though he was like one of the earlier fights on the card. But he said, I'm looking to bring the excitement. And he definitely did that <laughs> in round one right there. Hey, he wasn't happy about it. Changed it to MMA, and he's making sure Carter knows all about it. Here we go. Start of round number two, and you can see Lorenzo trying to use that range yeah. to start round two, try to keep his distance. He is definitely going to have to try to implore that man to keep his distance Absolutely. and to pick his shots on Bishop right now. Because Bishop comes there. in and he connects with some huge shots. Nice uppercut from Boom Boom. But Carter comes right back with a couple of shots of his own. But this is the spot that he's finding himself in a this, lot here. This is really annoying to, uh, uh, if you're a kickboxer getting pressed up against a cage or mm, ropes like that. Nice head helped. kick from Carter to Price. I don't even I think Boom that. Boom. It <laughs> phased Boom Boom. He no. got kicked in the head and then charged to Carter. He is too mad and too focused to feel anything right now. This guy is a house of fire right now. He has no quit in him right now. Oh, it's like a low blow it's there like on low the blow right pick. there. Of course, the fighter will have five minutes to recover from a low blow. I don't imagine Boom Boom will take five minutes. Referee Nick Barron's encouraging Boom Boom to, you know, not come back too early. Take your time. Make sure you're ready. Make sure you're 100%. Referee Nick Barron's gets the action back underway here. Less than a minute to go here in round number two. Two good overhand rights from uh, Carter there. Couple of nice big shots, and then Boom Boom answers right back with a nice left hook of his own. Referee separates the fighters. You see, you see Carter starting to use it to reach a little bit better. He's actually um, nice combination right there from Carter. High kick and then came back with the nice one too combination right there, Dan. Yeah, he's switching sides. He's changing levels a little bit more than he had been. Was all punches in the first round. It's not a knockdown. No knockdown indicated by the ref. You can definitely see 
whatever Carter Corner told him in between round one and two, he definitely applied it to this round, and he definitely looked a lot more solid yeah. this round I think than he, he did in the first round. Man. I think we saw about halfway through that second round, uh, Carter really gained his confidence back. He started moving forward a little bit more, and he's throwing a lot more combinations, and they're starting to be effective. Boom Boom is still uh, laying in a lot of shots, especially when he can get inside that reach. Um, I'd say Carter probably just narrowly took that round. Boom Boom landed a lot of shots, but those head kicks, you got to imagine those are going to stick in the referee's mind. Yeah, definitely. Or sorry, in the uh, judge's mind. So who you say would take that second round right there? I, I think Carter barely. Uh, he had he had the uh, he had the the uh, punches and kicks that were going to stick with the judge's memory. I think a little bit longer, even though I think Boom Boom threw higher volume. Boom Boom did throw a lot of punches and bunches, but I don't think a lot of them connected. And like Carter just looked a little bit more crisp that second round. And those sweeps they don't count for any points, at least not in America, but. Um, you got to wonder if the judges take those into account where they really shouldn't, but it's possible that they, they see that as almost a takedown, or a knockdown, excuse me. Here we go. Third and final round underway. Price versus Carter. I see both fighters now just... They both felt each other out. Yep. Now they're just both looking for that one big shot. Ooh, just barely missed that head kick. Man, you can see Carter comes with that head kick to set up the combo. Yeah. Boom Boom still landing those overhands, left yeah. and right. But Boom Boom comes right back and lands some heavy leather on Carter. You see, you got Carter on that back pedal now. Just trying to avoid the big old shots. Yeah, but notice how he's circling out now. He's not just going straight back. Yeah. He's Start. going back, and then he's circling to the right. Just like you said. See that first step right there from Carter? was at an angle, about a 45-degree angle. That's going to be a big key for him. See, Boom Boom just tried to shrug him off. Referee Nick Baron. And that's one thing. As soon as the referee separates you better him, have your hands up. you better have your hands up because Boom Boom is coming in with a heavy shot. Watch right here. Fight. Boom. Right there. <laughs> Just like that. And, of course, Lorenzo seen that one coming. Man, these two guys are scrapping right yeah, now, absolutely. man. This is going to be a tough one if this, it goes to the scorecard for the judges. This is 50-50 right now. Less than 30 seconds to go here in round number three. Fighters right on top of us. Good buddy. Oh, nice, oh, nice shot at the end right there from Carter. Yeah. Great fight between Boom Boom Bishop Price and the Loke Lorenzo Carter. This will be an interesting one to see how it's played out yeah, on the scorecards, Dan. Absolutely. I mean, Boom Boom was definitely the aggressor the entire fight. The Ladies entire and gentlemen, fight. let's give it up for these two fighters in that great fight while we await the judge's decision. And it's, you know, it's it's going to be difficult to see how the judges score this one because I think Boom Boom definitely took the first round. I would say Carter probably edged out the second round. So it's really whoever, the, in my opinion, whoever they give the third round to, to is who's going to win this fight. Definitely. I definitely have to agree with you on that one, Dan. And, you know, I, I have the feeling that if we, would have, if we could have a fourth round, a sudden victory round, we'd probably get a definitive winner yeah, out of absolutely. that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Two, two fantastic fights here um, for EFC 10. What a great start so far. You can see the teams coming together, showing a lot of sportsmanship. That's always great to see. I mean, well, we got a knockout and then a street brawl. And then a strike, street fight, banger, knockdown, drag out. Hey, they was trying to send each other home. Not necessarily in a body bag, but 
certain and just trying to do a little something, something. Yeah, and I, I, as a promoter for Dave, man, it's got to be great to see, you know, an event start out like this. A knockout and then and two people just trying to absolutely clobber each other. Let's head up to the ring with Chris Gerhard for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judge's scorecard. Judge Kevin Champion scores this contest 30-27. Judge Stephen Graham scores this contest 29-28. And Judge Steve Arsenault scores the contest 29-28. Declaring your winner by split decision, Lorenzo the Loke Carter. Wow, Dan. You can hear... You can hear the adulation from the Carter fans, and you can hear the disappointment from the Boom Boom fans. Yeah, they are not liking the that decision. The Boom fans are not with that decision at all. But like you said, that I, I'm still kind of boggled that somebody gave Carter 30, all three rounds. 